Hello there. I've got another video for you on how to wear one item five different ways. So today's video is all about the maxi skirt. So let's get things started. I'm going to show you five different outfits um, using a maxi skirt. So a lot of these are actually going to be fall centric, but you can also wear them during the summer as long as it's, you know, not blazing hot. And I'll show you different ways where, how you can layer outerwear air like a coat or jacket on top so that it's cozier for fall. So let me bring out the start of today's video. This is the maxi skirt I will be wearing. It is green because this is the only maxi skirt that I own. <laughs> That's my only option. So I got this uh, from Zara I think over a year ago and I haven't really worn it that much so this video is also a great opportunity for me to find different ways to style it as well. So this one's kind of like a satin if you look at it um, and it's actually a little bit of a high-low skirt so it's a little bit shorter in the front than it is in the back but it's still a maxi skirt so of course you could wear any of the outfits with a neutral colored maxi skirt or one with a pattern as well so just keep that in mind you can always change the colors but this is the one that I will be using in all of my outfits today so Let's get this kicked off. Okay, if by now you've watched any of my other videos, you know I can't live without my turtleneck. So let's just get this one out of the way. For this outfit, I paired my maxi skirt with a black turtleneck and some high heel ankle boots. It's a simple look that still looks elegant and put together, in my opinion. If you want to layer a jacket, I added this cropped faux leather jacket over it, which adds a little bit more flavor to the outfit. I love mixing up different textures to make outfits a little more interesting and add a little more depth. For example, adding a leather jacket with some sheen to it spices up the outfit as opposed to a plain cotton jacket over a cotton turtleneck. So I'm sure some of you have seen this look before, which is a loose fit sweater over a maxi skirt. To me, this is one of the ultimate coziest outfits for fall if you don't feel like wearing pants. I also paired it with the same ankle boots from the previous outfit. It's a comfortable and casual look while still looking stylish and like you dressed with intention, which is key, right? So in order for this outfit to not look off, in a sense, is to pair it with a loose or boxy sweater that hits at least at your waist level or below. Any shorter, it'll look a little strange unless it's a completely cropped sweater. And you also wanna make sure it's baggy and loose and not fitted. This outfit is so fun. <laughs> it's casual, comfy, and chic all at once. I paired a loose fit graphic tee, which of course says extraordinary personality because why not? <laughs> Along with some plain white sneakers. I tucked in the tee and added a snake print belt to define my waist and spice up the outfit a bit. And wait for it, bam! <laughs> Layering on a faux fur coat because I'm extra. Want to look extra while still being casual? This is the outfit for you. Again, playing with textures. So we've got a cotton t-shirt, some faux fur going on, a satin skirt, and then I added a snake print belt. So all of this adds a little bit more depth to your outfit and makes it look 
very effortless while still being chic. For warmer days, this is also a comfortable outfit. It looks very put together and elegant while also kind of looking like you just rolled out of bed through this on and still look fabulous. <laughs> no? So I paired a simple spaghetti strap top with a long knit cardigan. If you want, you can also wear this without a jacket or cardigan on top for the summer or spring. To elevate the outfit, I added some gold dangling earrings. And for my shoes, I opted for some strappy heels. Um, I also put my hair in a bun because I feel like a ballerina off duty in this outfit so I thought the bun would go perfect with that. <laughs> Here we have a dressier option. I'm wearing a polka dot print blouse, which has a tie neck collar and balloon sleeves that add a little bit more femininity to it. I also opted for some satin ankle boots that are a little longer and hit mid calf, but this outfit would also look fabulous with some knee high boots too. Again, I added a belt to define my waist since the blouse is pretty loose. This time I chose a plain black belt. Add on a trench coat if needed and you're ready to go. Honestly, I think this would look even better with a longer coat, but I don't have one. So this is what you get. And newsflash, I just discovered that this skirt has pockets for the first time. So as you can see, I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the outfits that i shared with you let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and which one was kind of a new idea for you like you never thought hmm, maybe i could style a maxi skirt this way i'd love to know and also share any ideas that you may have for future videos <laughs> And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have several other videos that you can watch about fashion and self-love. So thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you guys.